اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ان المجرمین فی ظلال و صغر یمشو سبون فی النار علی وجوہ فکو مسل سقر ان لکو اللہ شئین خلقنا بے قدر و ما امرنا الا وحیدت نقلم ہم بالبسر و ما امرنا الا وحیدت نقلم ہم بالبسر و لقد احلقنا اشیاءکم فحل میں مدکر و کلو شئین فعلو و فی صبر صدق اللہ العلیج والعظیم نائنٹ کلاس lecture number 26 for you and today as I promised in the last session I will tell you the names of the two cells and I will explain two cells which have the primary cell wall and the secondary cell wall because I divided the plants into two groups in the last lecture I divided and I told that some plants have only one type of cell wall that is the primary cell wall and some plants have two type of cell wall mean that they have the primary cell wall as well as the secondary cell wall so this is lecture number 26. I will go to term first of all. That term is written here. Spelling will remember. Your pronunciation will be important to learn the spelling of the plasmodesmata. P-L-A-S-M-O-D-E-S-M-A-T-A. Plasmodesmata. First of all. Don't worry. I am going to explain this term very soon. Just see the word first of all. Don't rush in learning the things quickly. Just take your time. See your age. And because you will, you will learn these things in the next four years continuously, these terms I will speak again and again. Plasmodesmata. These are the openings in the, in the plant cells. In the plant cells. Like, you know, the nature has made so developed systems in the plant cells that they can interact with each other. For example, if your neighbor is there and you have cooked something in the Eid, you will try to deliver that thing to your neighbor as well. For example, you are doing sacrifice in the large Eid. What you did, you gave meat to the different people. You gave to the neighbors as well. So what happens? Plant also try to give the things to other cell. Plant cell, one cell, try to, tries to donate something to neighbor cell. So mean how the things can be donated. So I will draw the diagram, I will tell you. Look here. Students, you will see that. This is the one cell. This is another cell. This is the opening between the two cells. One plant cell, second plant cell. Number one plant cell, number two plant cell. You can see very easily. This is the number one plant cell, that is the number two plant cell. Between the two cells, there are pores. You can see there are pores. These are the pores. These pores are called plasmodesmata. Sir, why you are teaching plasmodesmata in the topic cell wall? Because we are studying the topic cell wall. Yes, this is a very good question. Because the plasmodesmata present in the cell wall. Sir, why the plasmodesmata present in the cell wall? Look here. Outermost covering in the plant cell is the plasmodesmata. Uh, outer, sorry, outermost covering in the cell is the cell wall. We all know. We all know that outermost covering in the plant cell is the cell wall. So opening will be in the cell wall. Then things will be transported from the one cell to the another cell. Otherwise they will not be able to transport from the one cell to another cell. I will draw the two cells once again. Look here. This is the one plant cell. So I am drawing cell wall only. I am not drawing cell membrane. I am not drawing nucleus. I am not drawing cytoplasm because we did not study yet. I will tell you only the outermost covering this. This one is the cell wall. So this is primary cell wall or secondary cell wall. Forget that here because just you say cell wall because I am not, uh, uh, I did not tell you the type of the plant cell because the plant cell has two type because the main cell wall of the plant is the primary cell wall. So primary cell wall at least is present in each cell that you can say simple cell wall. Simple cell wall when I will say it means I am talking about the primary cell wall. Okay, another cell. This is another cell. This is another cell. So this is another cell which is composed of the cell wall also. This plant cell, this is the number one plant cell, this is the second plant cell. So opening, sir, why the plasmata, this was the question, why the plasmodesmata present in the, why the plasmodesmata present in the cell wall? Plasmodesmata present in the cell wall, the reason is that these opening, which are called plasmodesmata, they are present between the cell number one and cell number two. Reason is that the molecules will be transported from the one cell to another cell. So I actually identified the role of the cell wall. What is the role of the cell wall? One is a protective in the nature, of course, because you know primary cell wall. Composed of which thing? Tell me, if you remember the last lecture. Yes, the cellulose. What is the cellulose? Carbohydrate. 
which type of carbohydrate the simple carbohydrate or the complex carbohydrate sir complex carbohydrate i am reading one name i am teaching you one name the complex carbohydrate is called polysaccharide polysaccharide easy easy because i will teach you i will teach you this word in the next chapters so don't worry polysaccharide p o l y s a d c h a r i d polysaccharide and plasmodes meta is present in the cellulose mean primary cell wall so when the cell wall will have the pores then the molecules will be transported from the one place to another if the molecules definitely want to transport from the one cell to another so which thing is required the pores are required this is the number one cell this is another cell of course i have to tell you type of the cells because at the start of the session i told you that i am going to tell you name of the cells because which type of the cells these are so i am speaking two cells these are the two cells i am speaking the name of the two cells one is the plant cell parenchyma parenchyma spelling p a r e n c h y m a parenchyma another plant cell is the sclerenchyma s c l e r e n c h y m a so this is a parenchyma for example so it has only one cell wall it has only primary cell wall it has no secondary cell wall is that clear because i am naming the cells parenchyma has primary cell wall because it has one cell wall sclerenchyma has two cell wall primary cell wall as well as the secondary cell wall so one cell wall this one is the primary another cell wall this one is the secondary cell wall primary cell wall is towards the outside so cell number 1 is called parenchyma cell cell number 2 is called the colenchyma cell sclerenchyma cells i will speak only uh, technically that there are three type of the cells but i will speak here the two type of the cells third type of the cells in the upcoming lectures you will understand only two here sclerenchyma i will speak this term slowly but i am going to speak this term slowly here okay don't worry because in the coming topics i am going to read these names so many times they will be in your blood parenchyma p a r e n c h y m a parenchyma parenchyma cell because it consists of the primary cell wall and primary cell wall primary cell wall composed of cellulose primary cell wall composed of a cellulose primary cell wall composed of a cellulose because whenever there is a one cell wall outermost boundary is the one that is composed of the cellulose and when the cell has two boundaries mean it has two cell walls mean outside and then inside the outer boundary here in will be called as a primary cell wall and inner boundary here will be called as a secondary cell wall and primary cell wall will be composed of a cellulose and secondary cell wall will be composed of lignin do you remember now these are triangle conversation look here two type of cell parenchyma sclerenchyma identification of the parenchyma cell one cell wall only which is the primary which is the primary cell wall primary cell wall what is the another cell wall sclerenchyma cell what is the another type of the plant cell sclerenchyma cell how you will identify the sclerenchyma cell sir it has two cell wall outer is the primary cell wall and inner is the secondary cell wall outer cell wall composed of cellulose and inner cell wall composed of the lignin what is the advantage of sclerenchyma cells to have two cell walls yes this is a question which you need to ask and i am going to tell you a point which you have to remember for the future that is sclerenchyma is the dead structure sclerenchyma is the dead structure why the sclerenchyma is the dead, dead structure why the sclerenchyma is the dead structure sclerenchyma is the dead structure in the sense sclerenchyma is the dead structure in the sense that sclerenchyma consists of secondary cell wall and secondary cell wall composed of a lignin and lignin is a much hard structure and it will not allow the molecules to move from one cell to another even through the opening between the cell wall what is the name of the opening between the cell wall plasmodesmata and then they will not allow the molecules to flow from the one cell to another cell through the opening which is called plasmodesmata definitely the cell will die so sclerenchyma cells are dead cells what is the advantage of dead cells in the plant body yes that that information in the next topics 
very important informations because they are going uh, to protect the plant cell due to this quality and now this is a diagram of a plant cell look here outer wall is the cell wall only primary cell wall has been shown primary cell wall has been shown then comes cell membrane then comes cytoplasm which i have to teach you then come this is the uh, this is the and other uh, organelles which i have to teach you therefore i i think i should not name those terms you need to understand only these terms here look here cell wall if that is one it is primary cell wall if that is two it means that is outer cell wall this is inner cell wall means this is the primary cell wall and that is the secondary cell wall primary cell wall and the secondary cell wall it may be outer one it may be inner one so if this cell wall is one it means that is called as a primary cell wall if that cell wall is composed of two layers if this cell wall composed of two layer two layer here it means that is primary cell wall and then in there is secondary cell wall primary cell wall composed of the cellulose secondary cell wall composed of the lignin very hard structure and if the secondary cell wall is present the cell is called scleren chyma scleren chyma if the secondary cell wall is not present that is the parent chyma I mean that composed of the only primary cell wall and after if the primary cell wall is present the cell is a living and if the scleren chyma consists of two cell walls scleren chyma cell is a dead because it consists of a two cell wall so it is very clear that cell wall primary the cell is alive if cell wall primary and the secondary both mean both type of the cell wall present in the cell that cell is the scleren chyma because that is a dead cell that is a dead cell okay students dear this is a very good information because the cell wall is the important part because that is protecting the cell that is protect just like the bones are protecting your body and of course bacteria you know bacteria composed of which type of cell wall million dollar question from the ninth class i think you will be answer you will be able to answer yes peptidoglycan peptidoglycan can you get the molecule mean protein and the group and protein and the carbohydrate they are present protein and the carbohydrate they are present in the cell wall of the bacteria so bacteria says i am not the plant you know in the five kingdom system of classification i am verifying that bacteria says i am not the plant i am not the fungi fungi say i am not the bacteria i am not the plant when we ask the question to fungi why you are not the plant to group why you are not the bacteria fungi say my cell wall composed of chitin fungal cell wall composed of chitin fungal cell wall fungal cell wall composed of chitin which is more harder than cellulose so these are the terms students primary cell wall secondary cell wall cellulose lignin fungal cell wall chitin and bacterial cell wall peptidoglycan and the opening between the cell wall plasmodesmata and cell wall outermost covering in the plant but not outermost covering in the animal because animal consists of cell membrane and cell membrane also present in plant but inside the cell wall so lecture number 26 i hope you are getting this information i am very happy you are learning these informations and writing correctly in the paper if you have solved themselves i believe you have solved yourself because there was no invigilator and uh, i am much uh, optimistic we must be optimistic that you solved your paper yourself you did not see from the notes or the copy because you are honest people i believe i must have this belief because when i will be positive you will be also positive thank you very much students